10,000 colors. Endless. Turn it off, turn it off. What am I? Such a beast. <laughs> hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. All right, my friends, I am so stoked right now because one of the very last things we need to do is the gray water. And I have been struggling to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I played with the idea of putting in some blue drums for gray water. I just didn't want to spend $400 on gray water tanks each and I needed two of them. So I just found on the local classifieds website here, a guy selling four gray water tanks for RVs for $150 a piece. So I'm heading there right now to go check these out and grab a couple of them. They're 30, 35 gallons a piece, which is perfect because that matches our freshwater tanks. Oh my gosh, this is such a relief. You guys, I had no idea what I was gonna do about these gray water tanks and I didn't want it to stand in the way of us leaving, but I've saved it to the last minute. So stupid, but I am so freaking stoked. So I'm gonna go find those now and hopefully they're what I think they are and uh, and we'll have great water tanks. Woo! Oh my friends, my friends, it is a good day. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, so, got my uh, two gray water tanks. So we've got 80 gallons of gray water storage right there for 300 bucks. That is a freaking steal for real gray water tanks. And the same guy had a hitch receiver bar that we can put on the bus that I also needed to buy that I thought I was gonna spend about 350 bucks on and he gave it to me. He had it sitting back there with all of his other parts and I was looking at it and he said, oh, you can just have that. It's gonna to go to the scrap yard. So good, good, good stuff. And then finally, the painting has been another thing I've been really, really worried about. What were we going to use to paint the bus with? I just stopped at the paint store. They told me about this product that they paint uh, because a couple of things we want to make sure obviously durability is a big deal The other thing is we wanted to tint it the color We want it like a custom color rather than having to go with the five colors you choose from when you use like a rust-oleum or something like that so um, He told me about this uh, pro industrial direct to metal acry acrylic paint that they use to paint like dumpsters and like other metal things that are always outside getting tons of wear and tear and you can tint it with any color. So he gave me a color book and uh, we're gonna pick our own paint color, 100 bucks a gallon, so it is not cheap, um, but worth it in my opinion. Better than auto paint, better than Rust-Oleum in my opinion. So uh, it is a freaking good, good day. <laughs> what are you doing? I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> so we're stuffing the cushion inside of this beautiful cover that Katie, Katie, this one, has made. And uh, it's a little difficult. So Katie thought it was a good idea to get inside the cushion with it. I still think that's the best way. <laughs> Why are you dancing? Because I got red hair. You got red hair? That's when you know summer's starting. Summer when the when the cool colors start coming out. Oh. <laughs> I got up at 5.30 this morning to make this. Here's our cushion for our couch. Katie's been working like crazy on it, trying to figure it out. How many YouTube videos have you watched? Well, three or four, two about five times each. <laughs> it looks really good. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the bus. How is it, guys? Luxurious. We're gonna make our own couches from now on. It looks awesome. I love the color. 
Achoo. Oh! No sneezing on the couch. <laughs> okay, only three more to go. Two more to go. <laughs> the back on that one, and this one, this one's gonna be a challenge. So we found a paint that works. I think I already talked about that. Um, I think it's gonna be a really good option and now we've gotta pick colors because our color options are 10,000 colors. Endless. We can pick from the entire color selection that this store offers and uh, should be good stuff for the bus. Direct to metal acrylic. So now we're trying to decide I mean, there's Jamaica Bay. We haven't even looked at that one. Jamaica Bay? That's a little bl too blue, I think. After the rain. We're really considering a color called Bora Bora Shore. Sounds fun. Mostly just because it says Bora Bora Shore. Or Aqueduct. Here's Bora Bora Shore. There's Aqueduct. Obviously a bit more green. <laughs> Light, they almost look identical. I like Bora Bora Shore. Fountain? Capri? No, those are too dark. Bora Bora Shore, I think. Bora Bora Shore! Maybe. It's a, no, not maybe. <laughs> Bora Bora Shore? I don't make decisions well. Yes. I think we'll like it. Bora Bora Shore. Bora Bora Shore. Here we go, we're gonna go buy it right now. All right, so we got our paint. We went with Bora Bora Shore. It's beautiful. And the best part of the whole thing is that Katie's dad had a contractor account at the paint store that we didn't even know about. And we got $60 off each gallon. So each gallon of paint ended up being $43, which is perfect. Contractor accounts apparently get you 70% off. That's not 70, 60% off. We don't do math, well, it's okay. <laughs> we don't do math, we just do paint. Hopefully. And buses. Now where are we going? Now we are going to the county offices to finally get the title in our name. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes okay with that. I've been a little bit nervous. I mean, I don't know what I'm nervous about, but um, yeah, we're gonna get the title in our names and we'll get it registered because uh, we're gonna drive this bee. Beast. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I can't say bee on this. It's a family <laughs> show. 10 minutes later and $380 and we have a registered bus. Woo! You know that scene from Zootopia? We just did it. <laughs> the scene with the sloth that's checking them out, we just experienced that 100%. She was the nicest. <laughs> but it was very painless. Nicest sloth on Utah's pretty on awesome. Her. So we, we, they had no questions. We got a temporary uh, operating permit and we got vanity plates first time ever we're not gonna tell you what they are you'll have to see them once we get the plates in seven weeks <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the excitement of finding those holding tanks is wearing off because now I've been under the bus for three hours and barely have any done at all um, <laughs> Got the first one tacked up. It still needs the side supports and drop downs and stuff. I'm having a really hard time getting them to fit and I'm doing this alone. This one's the easiest one. This one's for the kitchen sink drain right there. I'm actually gonna have to elbow out of it and then elbow into the tank from here. I wanted to drop down in, but I dropped that down too far, too close to the sidewall and uh, the tank can't get over there. So that's one issue. That's the pretty much the only issue of this one. The back one, I'm gonna have to cut one of the exhaust mounts, move it back, reattach it somehow. So that's a lot more than I had bargained for with hanging these tanks up. But um, anyway, we we'll get to work. Huh? That's looking good. 
Such a beast. That's fine. Putting in this bat gray tank, and it's a beast. I actually had to cut the muffler support. So I've got to figure out a different way to support this muffler. I'll put like a belly band right here and connect it to this somehow. Ugh. Oh, geez. How is it crawling around under the bus? Oh, it's the worst. It's not as bad as tiling. Oh yeah, right. But it's the worst. Tiling's way better. Nope. Oh, come on. Wrong size. So, things are about to get real here. <laughs> I'm about to put water in our in our water system for the very first time. Turn on the pump, check all the plumbing joints. I'm going to put some water in a couple of the tanks. Hopeful, hopefully they don't fall off the bottom of the bus. And uh, <laughs> that would be tragic. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we go. leaks one on the outdoor shower and it looks like one right where the pump is so we've got to troubleshoot these and then now that we have weight the weight of the water in the water tank I think we have to modify the water tanks just a little bit um, by putting a piece of wood or something underneath them to distribute the weight the weight of the water is pushing down on the places that don't have a cross brace. One of the problems here is I painted these and that was not a good idea. So turn them off and try again. There we go. Ah, we have water. Mm. <laughs> so nice. Spray the sink out. It works. Oh, that's what I was talking about with these. I just hit my head on it. All right, so plumbing is actually looking really good. I already got the one leak and the outdoor shower fixed. Um, just needed to clear some of that paint. We put some Teflon tape on it. Seems to be good. Why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hide? So um, I think we've got all the leaks taken care of. There's no leaks. Sink's good. Bathtub's good. Um, the only thing is, is I didn't really like secure the PEX piping everywhere really well and it vibrates really bad, it's really loud. So I'm just gonna go get some weatherproofing foam or something like that and shove it in and, and just make sure that um, the PEX piping is, is completely secured everywhere. And I really think that will cut down on a lot of the noise, I hope. Milo, what are we celebrating? Um, Ashton's birthday. Oh, oh it looks like she's two. <laughs> oh, there's a one back there. An interesting candle situation we have going on there. Did you get me a picture of my nose? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was picking my nose in the last hey, video. Is the lighter still in here? <laughs> Anybody numb? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dad. Oh, this is epic. Who thought of having cookies? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Addison. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha, you're turning 12. Yeah. Woohoo!
Yeah, he set off the smoke alarm. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.